Gast, 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 be careful. I don't know why I did that. That was just terrible. Gast, gast, gast. Well, okay, that had nothing to do with the video I'm doing today, so forgive me for that one. So, if any of you are like me and my group of friends, we often play older video games online. Especially when you have crap like Modern Call of Duty, which just playing, in my personal opinion, sucks. Um, I'm not into Apex Legends. I may or may not occasionally play Fortnite in the Fortnite. <laughs> no, I play. I might play Fortnite like once every three months. That's literally one game every three months. I personally don't like the new Call of Duties, the Battlefields, Apex, none of that. So my friends and I often play, you know, Call of Duty 4. The original Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 Online, Battlefield 3, Back Company 2. You know, the 360 era multiplayer games, those are what we play. And now is a good time for a lot of them because we're seeing a resurgence in those games because a lot of people feel the same way I do and the way my friends do. And I think they actually just announced the servers for the Gears of War games are back online. I don't... Gotta take a look at that one. But... You have to be extremely careful nowadays, especially if you're playing some of these games on PC. Report. This is from um, Kotaku, unfortunately. Report. Malware brings original Modern Warfare 2 on Steam offline. Yeah. Because people just can't have fun anymore. <laughs> After a recent spike of interest as old servers were brought back online on Xbox... Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 was taken offline earlier this week on PC over reports that malicious hacks. According to TechCrunch, players were getting attacked in the 2009 game via hacked lobbies. Now, this is a big problem, I can tell you that. Uh, on the 360 side, which is where I choose to play them because I was fully aware of some of this happening on PC. On the 360 side, and I'm assuming the PS3 side... Um, when you play these games, you get into lobbies where it's infinite ammo, like one kill will give you 30,000 XP. Uh, you can easily, easily just get to the final prestige if you get into a hack lobby. It's not by choice either. You know, you just search for a game and you'll get thrown in with a bunch of hackers. Sometimes it can be fun, but more often than not, it's just annoying because you just want to play the game the way it used to be. Alerts about malicious activity in the game date back to June 26 with a post on the Steam discussion page. We'll take a look at it in a minute. Warning players should make sure they have a virus scanner before playing. The attack using hacked lobbies wrote Steam user B identifying the malware as Trojan Win32 Walk Attack. Dot. Yeah, I mean, just pay attention to this part. I'm not going to try to say that actually. <laughs> Other players corroborated the issue. Yeah, I just deleted the Trojan, wrote back one Steam user, was wondering what WTF is that. According to TechCrunch, hackers were using a worm, a piece of malicious code that can self-replicate and automatically spread from one user to another. Anyone in a hacked lobby would get the virus and spread it to whoever they played with next. This means the hackers must have found and are exploiting one or more multiple bugs in the game to execute malicious code on other players' computers. Activision ended up taking the Steam version of the game offline in July 26th. When asked about the issues, a spokesperson for the company directed TechCrunch to the following tweet. Multiplayer for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 2009 on Steam was brought offline when we investigated reports of an issue. And despite being a decade old, Modern Warfare 2 still averages 500 concurrent players a day on Steam. Uh, more than that on the 360 from what I saw. And that number, or, you know, uh, when I say 360, you can play it, you could actually play on your 360, but I also play it backwards compatible on the Series X. And the number that increased earlier this month after players discovered matchmaking had been approved across the host of older 360 games, yeah, like I was saying. While players on the console encountered lag and cheaters, there don't appear to be any similar reports of malware infections, which I'm happy about, to be honest with you. In the meantime, there's over a dozen other Call of Duty multiplayer games people can pick up and play. Some of the comments, there has been a problem for years, have not touched the game since I got remote desktop from somebody in my lobby. It's baffling to me that AAA publishers can leave their games out in a state like this for unaware customers to purchase and that places like Steam can still sell them. Yeah, that is an issue. If you're going to continue to sell the game, then you should at least keep the multiplayer updated. I understand for business perspective, that's not 
efficient. Um, and you probably don't even have time or manpower to actually deal with that. But something's got to be done here. I don't encounter ha hackers on Xbox, but the lobbies varied wildly on lag. I didn't really experience that. I played five rounds last night with no hackers, and then I tried this morning and couldn't find a lobby that wasn't full of them. Unlimited ammo in your gun, and if you jumped, you floated in the sky. That is absolutely funny. Now, this is the same page the article was talking about. As you can see here, make sure you have a virus scanner before using the game. They attack using hacked lobbies. Yeah, I just deleted the Trojan, wondering what that was. Some people asking how you even detect the virus, what virus protection to use. I'm having the same issue. Where is the dsound.dll located? Here's a troublesome one. I found it, but won't let me delete, saying access is denied. No one's patched this yet. It's completely unsafe to play OG Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer on PC, full stop. Um, So if you guys play Modern Warfare on PC, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, whatever, um, I'm sure if you come to the Steam boards, there are plenty of people here that will tell you how to take care of some of this. Uh, but what do you guys think? I mean, personally, I'm sitting here like, why do people have to do this? Can we just enjoy older games? But I mean, the only other alternative is that places like Activision would just completely shut off these servers so you can't play anymore. Because they're not going to invest the time and resources into keeping these servers up to date. I just don't see it happening. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and I hope you all have a good day. Be careful out there, especially if you're playing this, and just try to have some fun.